hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to make date night dinner now we're going to make some rice and some sweet and sour chickpeas and some stir fried vegetables these are done really quick and this is a very easy dinner so let's see how to make it the first thing I've done here is I have taken two and a half cups of chickpeas and I've soaked it overnight and I have pressure cooked it until it is cooked. If you see I've pressure cooked it until it is cooked and then I have drained out the water. So I put this on a strainer and I've collected the water here. So if you're using canned ones then you can just directly drain the water and then keep it ready. So here I've used dried chickpeas so I have soaked it overnight pressure cooked it and then drain the water do not throw the water we're going to use it for the sauce so now let's see what how to make the sauce now heated a pan here to it i'm going to add one tablespoon of sesame oil you can use any oil that you use in your house once the oil is heated I've gently mashed four to five cloves of garlic. So I'm going to add that to the pan. And one teaspoon of ginger paste, or grated ginger, whatever is available. This is homemade paste. And fry it till the raw smell of the garlic goes away. Now to this, I'm going to add in half a cup of jaggery. half a cup of our broth from our chickpeas we're going to add in we're going to add in an, about half a cup of soya sauce and a little less than one fourth cup of vinegar white vinegar we're going to mix it well and then we're going to let it simmer once the sauce starts to boil, then add in three to four green chilies according to your, I mean, as much spice as you need. I've added three here. Now I've taken one tablespoon of pepper and I've gently crushed it, I'm not made it into powder. You see, I've just crushed it. So I'm going to add that. In. Our sauce is done. Now you see how it gently coats onto our spoon. So our sauce is done we're going to switch it off and now I've removed the sauce from the pan and into the same pan I'm going to add in another tablespoon of oil and to it when the oil heats up I'm going to add in a few cloves of garlic there are around 10 cloves of garlic which I've lightly crushed and I'm going to add that to it I'm going to Gently saute this. Once that's done, I've taken a large onion and I'm going to have this thinly sliced it. Plain. We just want to stretch these vegetables out. So I'm going to just stretch the onions out on high flame. If you've noticed, I've not added any salt in the sauce because the soya sauce already consists of uh, salt. That's why I've not added. So you check the seasoning and accordingly add salt. Once I've sauteed the onions, I'm going to add in two medium-sized carrots which I've thinly sliced. Again, on high flame, just saute this. We don't want them to be cooked through. We want the crunch to remain in the carrots. Now to this, I'm going to add in some pork choy. I've washed it and I have taken out each segment and I've cleaned it. And I'm going to just stir fry these as well. 
if you don't have bok choy or carrot you can use any vegetable you have you can use broccoli or cabbage or um, cauliflower you can use any vegetables even peppers you have red bell pepper any of that you can just use that as well i've used three bok choy here so I've once the vegetables are slightly cooked i'm going to spoon in a few teaspoons maybe 3 or 4 teaspoons of um, our sauce that we've made and mix them gently now you see the vegetables are cooked now i'm going to remove it onto a plate now into the same pan i'm going to add in our chickpeas so i'm just going to pour in all our chickpeas we've not added any oil here i'm just going to on high flame just saute our chickpeas i have sauteed this on high flame for about 5 minutes now and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour in all our sauce into this and i'm going to coat each and every chickpea with this sauce and i'm going to mix this okay mix this and let it cook for another 10 minutes till the chickpeas absorbs all the liquid now you see how our chickpeas are coated well with all the sauce now we'll switch off the flame and remove it to a bowl once i've removed it to a bowl i'm going to sprinkle some toasted sesame on it this is optional gives a nice crunch to the whole dish so now our chickpeas are done as well i'm just cooking the rice and then i'll show you the final look i've cooked some plain rice here this doesn't have any flavor it's just plain rice you can use any rice that you have that you use in your house and to that i've taken some i had these fresh garlic leaves in my garden so i just plucked it out if you don't have this use spring onions so you can just sprinkle some spring onion leaves on the rice and there you go our rice is done as well so here you go guys our dinner is ready so we've done our rice our sweet and sour chickpeas and our stir fried vegetables and i've got some salad as well so all is ready and this was so quick and it's super easy right so now do try this recipe and if you do like it give me a thumbs up and do share and subscribe to my channel until next time bye